Mbondini has an institution started by Kianda Foundation. Uh, in 1961, it was it started as an informal training. We had just two rooms in uh, on the other side in Strathmore, um, Strathmore Catering Department, which is a catering department of of Strathmore School. There was a section that we had two two classes, so we were training. So at that time we had very few students who could do the course, and then we got this building um, from donors. The French, the, the Spanish government and the French and the Belgium government cooperated and so we moved here in 2004. Most of the students who come here, I would say, are from low-income bracket families. Uh, girls who cannot afford maybe to, do, to go to a very expensive um, course and, um, and yet they, they can study and they do have the capability of studying. One day I went to somewhere called Kimlea Training College. Okay, I, it is in Tigoni. So when I was there, I had gone to the hospital. So somebody told me about a school for hospitality. And well, I was interested in to doing things to do with catering. And so I went ahead and got more information about it. And I came and applied. And they, and I, they, they took me. In a way, okay, my parents weren't able to take me to college. From that, the Kenda Foundation just decided, now we are going to take you and help you so that you can make your life better instead of just wasting your potentials just there without doing anything. Kibondeni has been, okay, more of, more of an inspiration to me because I have learned a lot to be a different person and to always learn that despite the mistakes we make in life, we can always change and become better people. I come from Tanzania, Bukoba. Akibodel has helped me a lot because I've learned a lot about skills on austerity, laundry, housekeeping, front office. And on top of that, at least I have learned also about language because where I come from, English. I had a lot of problems on speaking English, but at least now I can express on myself. I regard the girls who come here to this college to be very lucky because it is a college that has nearly all the facilities that are needed in the profession. So if a girl comes with a, a motive and they really want to learn, the impact is very good because most of the girls that we teach most of them don't stay jobless. In fact, when they go to the industry for attachment, they get employed in the same same place. Most of them don't leave after attachment, they get jobs there. We train them uh, a lot to be good professionals and then above all, they have to have good ethics. That is what is actually lacking in the industry. That is where most employers prefer our students. The girls come in a bit meek, sometimes not even a word of English. And uh, by the time they're leaving third year, they're giving you ideas, they're arguing with you. And at that point, usually I think, ah, she's ready. Two years later, she has even changed a bit. You can't even recognize her. I say, you can't remember me? And they say, yeah, 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 okay. So doing, you can see actually there's an impact. There's a real change. Uh, what I can say, Kimonani taught me the value of hard work. When I came in, I was a waiter just after my diploma course. And then from the waiter, I became a supervisor. And then with time, we opened branches. And then from there on, now I was promoted to the operations manager. The graduates of Kibondeni have a certain um, steadiness, resilience, constancy about them that you don't find in other graduates from other colleges. They are also, they are simple, they're easy to deal with. They are very competent, especially the skill level. I have about seven people, seven graduates of Kibondeni that I'm working with now. And I would say that I'm happy with, with uh, what is coming out. When we were doing our launch for the School of Hospitality, the um, MD of Serena, uh, Jan Mohammed, uh, talked about our affiliation with Kibondeni and he told the public that were attending that function that Kibondeni was the best kept secret. The product uh, from Kibondeni, I can say, 
at least uh, I can uh, analyze their output and how they are in the industry as people who are one they are very well disciplined uh, they, they are people who work with a minimum supervision and uh, they are people you can invest with so at least they are not the kind who are half-baked I did one year Kibolini certificate when I finished I did two two year neck certificates of housekeeping, laundry and front office. I was taken for my internship at Serena. I did it for two weeks. Yeah, they just told me your, your job is good and uh, we need people like you. So they decided to take me. As I look back from where I was before and through the years I was in Kibondeni, I think I'm, I'm a better person because of Kibondeni. It, it was a bridge for me to get to other places, other better places. I'm encouraging more girls to come to Kibondeni because here in Kibondeni it's only that you learn what you have. Maybe like me, I'm doing laundry, housekeeping in front of office, but I have been able to learn more things. Most of these other colleges are commercial colleges, but uh, meaning that they are after your money and all that. But okay, what my experience in Kibondeni and what I have noticed about it, you go there, you come out a different person. So thanks to Kibondeni, they, they have really molded us into, uh, as in, you know, centers of diligence, discipline, morality. Yeah, so, and thanks to them. Once I go home, I always realize that there's something extra that I can do to the house. And then in terms of cooking, there's, some, there's something good or something better that I can do too, to, as in to add flavor or to spice up a meal. One of the things that I plan on doing is becoming, okay, in my work, wherever I will go to work, one of the things that I'll try and do is to really be that that student that Kibondeni has really molded me to become. In terms of, I have come from a unique college, so I am unique, so let me try and change people through my character. To Kianda Foundation, I am really grateful for the support and for everything that you have done for me. I am really grateful for that and I wouldn't be where I am if it were not for for your help. So I am very grateful and may God bless you and yeah, thank you. How I wish I would, I would have more girls to be able to train, to be able to make further impact.